Kyle, you uh, uh, you wrote, you've already kind of touched on his strengths and what kind of a player he is. And I'll tell you my favorite tradition after every NHL draft that the Leafs take part in is going through the comment sections and seeing all the people who were born in not to generalize, but born in the fifties or the sixties, et cetera. Um, singling out the fact that he, uh, their new prospect is five foot 10, five foot 11. Oh, they drafted another small player. They drafted another short skill that they, they need grit, all that, you know, all the talking points. So, <laughs> For people out there who see that Easton Cowan is five foot ten or five foot eleven or whatever he is, and just assume that he's this little, you know, short skilled prospect that you know is going to get knocked around when he gets to the NHL, what do you have to say to those people? Well, I mean, it's it's easy to look at those metrics and assume that he doesn't go into the corners, he's not physical, he doesn't battle, and all you've got to do is is watch and and. Those guys that you're talking about, Alex, or probably have never watched a shift of Easton Cowan in their lives. <laughs> but all he does is, you know, he's the energy bug. He was on a line with Ryan Winterton, who is an NHL draft pick of the Seattle Kraken and Denver Barkey. And they made up the uh, Twinterton line, which was covetedly <laughs> named. It was the best line in the OHL playoffs. And he was the guy that was was getting the pucks. He was retrieving it. He was battling. He was throwing his body around. He was driving to the front of the net. And... All I can say is that, you know, a guy like that in the OHL finals, he missed game three due to an illness. Him and Denver Barkey, they were sorely missed and they ended up losing that game. They returned for game four and all he did was a minute and 30 seconds in is open the scoring by hustling in on the four check, beating a defender to the puck, out muscling him, driving to the front of the net and scoring. And like, if those aren't intangibles that you want in a first round picker and a player in general, I don't know what is. And I just, I think he's got every element to be, you know, a regular NHLer. And I, I think you just got to go back and not just the highlight tapes, but especially this season, you, you assume that the London Knights are going to be heavily featured, whether it's television programs or whatever station that they're going to be on because of the media coverage with Easton Cowan being a first round pick of the Leafs. And once you start watching what he does on the ice, I think people are going to grow to appreciate what he brings and what he'll bring that the Leafs don't already have. 